Hey everybody, Ling here. I've been so busy making leather bags that I haven't been able to keep up on my vlog. But anyway, Austin, what are you doing? This is my mic. Get out of here. Oopsie. Okay, this vlog covers all the non-touristy things we did during our 18 days in Oahu. We were joined by my twin brother Peng and his girlfriend Kat. Austin, who grew up in Oahu, showed us all around the island. After our short but stuffy five and a half hour flight from San Francisco, we were absolutely famished. We stopped at Alicia's Market, which is known for their roast pork and poke bowls. <laughs> You're so stoked, man. When we got to Austin's parents' house, we were greeted by the star of the trip, Kuma. Kuma is a big, derpy Pomeranian with a whole lot of personality. The next day, we hit up Ono Seafood for some more poke. What do we got? Shoyu salmon. Wasabi ahi. Then we hopped into the car and headed to the beach. This is Austin. He's my tour guide. Aloha, everybody. Just kind of close. Oh. You're right. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting paid. <laughs> this is our ride. What is this place called? Uh, the we did a little photo shoot for this bag I made before driving up the road to the next attraction. This is the Halona Blowhole. Although there are people right next to it, it's super dangerous, so don't be like them. We caught the sunset at China Walls, which used to be a local spot, but it's definitely become pretty touristy. This is China Walls. Although there's always people swimming here, it's pretty dangerous, so I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> On the morning of Christmas Eve, we set out for another adventure. Hey! Hi, it's me, uh, Park Ranger Austin. Today we're gonna do a basic species um, trimming. So where are we now? We're at um, uh, the tent on this lookout. Um, we're gonna take in the views before we trim the invasive species. Cool. Tantalus lookout. You know why it's called that? Why? It's tantalizing. <laughs> okay. The lookout offers amazing views of both Diamond Head and Waikiki. Since it's just a lookout, there's really not too much to do, but the drives to and from are beautifully lush. Next, we stopped by Fujiya, which is a Japanese mochi shop known for their fresh fruit mochi. Mmm. Mm hmm Did you get some strawberry? Mm hmm I like the red bean around the strawberry. Mmm. Yep. That's good. Mmm. It's so sticky. Mmm. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no, <I'm sure>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Itchy butt. What's itchy butt? Korean chicken. Mmm. Despite the rude customer service, the food is quite mm. good. But it was a good amount of chicken too. It's like a ling face sized chicken. <laughs> it is. It's really big. Stop! 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 I was saying, oh my god! I was with you on that piece! That evening, we were super stoked to pick up my brother Peng and his girlfriend Kat. How's it, brother? <laughs> After opening presents on Christmas, we went to check out the spot by the ocean. Like China Walls, people have and still do cliff dive here, but it's super, super dangerous, so please don't do that. Oh, oh yeah, it's really not bad. I had a really fun time walking around the rocky and somewhat terraced terrain, and also watching and listening to the waves crash on the shore. Then we hit up Waimanalo Beach, which is one of my favorite beaches in Oahu. Waimanalo Beach is located on the eastern end of the island. It's got powdery soft sand and turquoise blue waters. It's great for body surfing and boogie boarding. Fire. <laughs> this is the green purse that I was modeling earlier. I made it for Kat as a Christmas present. Do you like the color? Yeah, that's a new thing I tried. That's so very Wow, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Austin's parents put together this delicious Japanese barbecue dinner for Christmas. Of course, Kuma was waiting for a couple bites of his own. 
The next day, we set out for Ho'o Maluhia Botanical Garden, which is open every day except for New Year's and Christmas, and it's totally free. It spans 400 acres and it's full of amazingly lush scenery. This mimosa pudica plant folds inward when it's touched as a defense mechanism. Here's Austin pretending to be one of those plants. <laughs> if you're not much of a walker or if you're just short on time, this park is still super fun and interesting to drive through. Next, we hit up the super popular Waihole Poi Factory, which is known for their plate lunch. It's been 45 minutes. <laughs> no, it's been like, oh, an hour? I don't know, it's been a long time. How's it? <laughs> so good. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Kololo. I highly recommend ordering their Sweet Lady of Waihole dessert, which is ice cream over Kololo. Mm. Oh, was it that stuff you bought yesterday? Yeah, but this is like... Okay. It's, it's way better. We ate the rest of our lunch at this park by Chinaman's Hat. I'm not the biggest fan of plate lunch, but people who are really enjoy this restaurant. How would you guys rate plate lunch? Pretty good, pretty good. We capped off the afternoon with the Crouching Lion hike. I made a separate video that goes into detail about all the hikes we did on this trip. If you're interested, please check it out. I'll link it in the cards. Spoiler alert, this was our favorite hike by far, but it was also the most dangerous. Peng and Kat were actually not able to join us because they didn't have the proper footwear and it was starting to get a little bit slippery. Here's Kuma again. You look like a turtle. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> the next day we went to the super popular Lanikai Beach for some snorkeling. If you get lucky, you might encounter some baby sharks. We didn't, but it was still fun. We just played a very intense game of tennis by the beach. It was Chang Roshan versus Chang Lai. And we lost 6-3. The last game went to like deuce number 10. Chang comes in for the volley. Chang returns. Chang volleys again. Oh, and a surprise winner from Roshan! Roshan joins us as the most inexperienced player in the league. He shows enormous potential. Oh, Chang just hit Lai in the shoulder. How was your second set ever? Uh, good. Tiring. A lot of good cardio there. <laughs> your shirt is drenched. Oh, no. <laughs> we kicked off the next morning with breakfast from Lili Ha Bakery, which has pretty much any baked good you can imagine. We really like their taro bread. And this is our haul. Oh my. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that's white outfit for the muddiest hike ever. <laughs> this is the second hike we did, which is the Ehukai oh, wow. pillbox hike. How would you rate this hike, guys? Solid eight. Ooh. It oh. was really fun, but super, super muddy. <laughs> Check. Shoe check. I think it gained like an inch of mud. Oh my gosh! Damn, it's like brownies! Since we were already in the North Shore, we took the opportunity to get some garlic shrimp. Mm. Tasty! Mm. Eating the skin too? Mm -hmm. And the lights? Mm -hmm. They're savage. It's actually quite good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it's just sucking on it because it's tasty. Try it! Then we got poke from Foodland as our second dinner. The next morning, we did the hike that pretty much every tourist does, which is the Diamond Head Crater Hike. Parking is probably going to be quite tricky, so I recommend parking outside of the park and then walking in. The best part of the hike is the Pineapple Dole Whip at the end. It's $7, which I think is totally worth it, and that's coming from me, who is super full. <laughs> How is it? Mm. Oh. Mm. After the hike, we had what was arguably the best poke of the trip. <laughs> um, there's this little school that we can go to. Do you like the wasabi? I do like the wasabi. The wasabi's really good. Yeah. Honestly, I think I kind of like this better than the Yeah. It's better. Better. Mm -hmm. We worked off our poke with a game of tennis at the nicest and most organized public courts any of us have ever seen. They even had designated waiting benches for each court. Welcome back to Centre Court, day 8 of the Hawaiian Open. We have number 1 C Chang Lai versus number 3 C Chang Roshan. The score is 30-15, Lai serves to Roshan. Roshan returns the ball nice and deep back to Lai. Lai oh, gets it back cross court to Roshan. Oh, and Chang comes in with a volley down the middle. There's a nice lot from Lai. And here's Chang 
backing up for a smash, but oh, not quite. Oh, point for Chang Roshan. After our very intense tennis match, we went to Ramen Onoya to refuel. We're about to do the Coco Head hike, which is basically an endless Stairmaster. Needless to say, we all had quite the love-hate relationship with this hike. I heard someone say they had a friend that did it three times today. Right? What? Yeah. I never want to do this ever again. <laughs> you hated this hike. Yeah, this is not great. The top is cool though. The top is cool. Top. Can you see your house, Austin? <laughs> I like it. This part was the scariest because there's no ground underneath. Oh my god. For dinner, we had all you can eat shabu shabu. It was delicious. Oh my god, Dad. After dinner, we had a little warm up to New Year's Eve on New Year's Eve Eve. Sadly, on New Year's Eve, Peng and Cat had to go home. The rest of our day was pretty chill because we were resting up for the New Year's Eve festivities later on. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? Oh my god. What are we doing here? Oh, uh, we're going uh, ring strapping at the Zales outlet. <laughs> <laughs> After a morning of shopping at the outlet mall, we stopped by Aea Bowl to get some hearty oxtail soup. Just a bag of bok choy. No napkins. Can I wipe it on your heel? <laughs> I can't believe you always do that. I'm a bit of a salon therapist. <laughs> can you put that on your LinkedIn? Data scientist line. Tech evangelist. Salon, 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 <laughs> salon therapist. Very tasty. Oh my god. So it's been raining buckets for the past couple of days in Oahu, but we finally caught a break in the rain. So we're gonna check out the Makapu'u tide pools. But first, we're gonna check out a local Hawaiian classic lunch spot, Costco. Are you not a grease dabber? Are you a grease dabber? No. Mm. Oh, I love that grease. This might be one of my favorite pizzas in the world. How are you already almost done? Almost done? What are you talking about? Look at mine. Why do you eat like a mouse? What kind of a person eats from the side? I think I might be lactose intolerant because my stomach feels very upset after I ate that whole cheese pizza. I found the hike down to the tide pools to be enjoyable but treacherous. How to change at the beach like Mr. Bean. I have no idea how he did it. <laughs> Yeah. We cooled off from our hike with some shave yeah. ice from Uncle Clay's House of Pure Aloha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the condensed milk. The next day, the rain was still pretty touch and go, but we managed to make a trip to Bioto Inn. It was built in 1968 to commemorate the 100 year anniversary of the first Japanese immigrants to Hawaii. It's a smaller scale replica of the Bioto Inn Temple in Japan. This amazing hike overlooking the beach was actually our backup plan. We wanted to do the Willy Willy Nui hike, but we were rained out. This is so nice. This is the last hike that we managed to squeeze in on our trip. It had so amazing cool. views of Kaneohe Bay. It also had a really good mix of light scrambling and also some grappling in the mud, which wasn't super fun, but definitely worth it when we got to the top. On our last night, we got in some quality bonding time with the little prince Kuma. Kuma! You want some butt scratches, don't you? <laughs> and that's a wrap for this trip. I had so much fun in Oahu and I can't wait to go back again soon. Thank you so much for watching.